Welcome to Joshua Production and today we'll be looking at the time value of money. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe so that you might be notified each time I post a new video. Also make sure to like and share this video. So we'll be looking at the time value of money. So the value of money is not the same from one period to another. So that's the so we can say that for the time value of money, the one US dollar that you have today is more variable than the one US dollar that you're going to receive tomorrow. And the main reason why the one US dollar is more variable today is because you can invest it. So I have said the one quacha that uh, the one US dollar. So if you have one US dollar today, this is more variable than the one US dollar that you are going to receive tomorrow. And the one and the main reason why the one US dollar that you have today is. It's more variable than the one US dollar that you're going to receive tomorrow is because you can invest that amount and can earn interest. So take for instance if we invest this amount, for example, we'll put it into a business and it produces a profit. It produces a profit of uh, two US dollars. So if it produces a profit of two US dollars, that means that the total amount that you're going to have is three US dollars. And this can happen the following day. So this means that when you're going to collect one US dollar, that the other amount that you had received will be three US dollar. So that means that the amount of money that you have is more variable than the amount of money that you're going to receive the following day this also applies if we say if we compare 10,000 US dollar this year which is 2020 this will be more uh, this is going to have more value than 10,000 US dollar that is going to be received in the following year which is 2021 and due to this this makes the investors to pay more for the investments that have retains in a short period of time than the investment that take a long period of time so due to this you're going to discover that investors usually pay a lot of money when it comes to investment that pay uh, that pay interest in a short period of time so take for instance if uh, an, uh, an investor wants to invest uh, its money in Zambia that means it's going to pay more so it will pay more for investment that has retains that has retains in the year between uh, one to five years so one to five years than an investment so than an investment that will produce the returns in 6 to 10 years so an investor will pay more for an investment that will pay the returns in a period of one to five years than that that will pay the returns in the year six to ten years so that's uh, the time value of money and under time value of money we're going to look at two things we're going to look at the compound value and the present value so we'll look at the compound value
we'll also take a look at the present value. So we we'll start with the first one, which is the compound value. So we studied the first one, which is the compound value. And the compound value is defined as the value of the sum at a future date when interest is compounded on the principal and on interest that had been acquired previously. So this means that for the compound value, interest is earned on two things. It is earned on the principal. It is also end on the interest acquired previously. And this means that interest here is uh, interest is end on interest. So that's the compound value. And for the compound value, let us look at the formula that we use. So for the compound value, we say compound value is equal to the present value multiplied by uh, the present value plus i and i there represents the interest rate so let us break down that so if we try to break down that we can say where our PV, that's uh, the principal, or we can say the power value, or we can say the present value. Then where I is the interest amount, so I is the interest amount, as the interest amount and this can be broken down by saying RP or RPV then we can say where R is equal to the interest rate so at the start, I said that I represents the interest rate. No, it does not represent the interest rate. It represents the interest amount. And uh, since we have that formula, we can say since we said our compound value is equal to PV plus the interest amount we have PV there plus we know that our interest amount can be broken down by saying interest rate multiplied by the present value. So as you can see there, the present value is common. So you can say present value is common. So present value into present value, we're going to have one plus present value into interest rate multiplied by present value, we're going to have interest rate so we have the new formula there so we can say our compound value is equal to the present value open bracket one plus uh, one plus the interest rate so that's the formula that we use and let us look at an example So taking for instance, if you have uh, taking for instance, if you have one thousand US dollars in your account, so you have one thousand US dollars in your account, and if interest 
rate is given at 8%. Interest rate is given at 8% and this is compounded annually. How much will the 1000 US dollars be worth at the end of a year? So just in a one year time. So that means T is equal to one year. So what will be what will be the value of the one thousand amount that the one thousand US dollars that we have in the account if it is compounded uh eight percent which is annually in a one year's time. So we know our formula that we use when finding compound value say compound value is equal to present value open bracket one plus the interest rate. So from this we know that our present value that's the amount of cash that we have in our account which is one thousand. So we have one plus the interest rate there it's a uh, 8% and 8% we know that it's 8 divided by 100 and 8 divided by 100 that's 0 0.08 so we have 0 0.08 so I'm going to have 1000 and 1 plus 0 0.08 is 1.08 1000 multiplied by 1.0 uh 1.08 the answer is uh 1080 US dollars so that means the amount at the end of one year you're going to have 1080 US dollars so this is just the introduction part but we shall continue looking at the compound value in the next video and we also we're also going to look at the present value thanks a lot i'll join you next time peace